Wow. Hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no talk. I apologize for that. Um honestly I don't have a good explanation. I just been living life to be quite honest. Um been working, doing a lot of stuff. Um, but we're back and better than ever now. Um today is Monday may 9th happy may it's gonna be may <laughs> but um i am heading off to work it is currently 7 45 and i work at nine i was just ice rolling my face i wanted to show you guys that i got this ice roller i actually got it for my mom and i for mother's day i got it for my mom for mother's day i'm not a mother but um you just like take this piece off and like you put this in the freezer and it's just so nice in the morning guys just to like roll your face and just it feels so nice and just amazing but yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys also I want to show you some apartment updates that I um, haven't been able to show you guys as you guys can see we have a couch I am so excited, but I just got my lunch together. I need to wash this um, coffee cup. Ugh, I can't open it. I can't open it, but whatever. Okay, we opened it. So I'm going to wash this out, and then I'll show you guys my couch. And we'll get ready for work. Welcome back to the vlogs. so much better over here I'm actually also gonna make some tea um, I am trying I'm trying to not eat in the morning um, I've been I've been intermittent fasting for like a few weeks now almost like two months maybe like six weeks it's been going really well I really don't have any complaints um, I usually start my day off with some tea I really like this tea by Bigelow. Um, it's the green tea with pomegranate. It just adds like a little something besides just having green tea. Um, because green tea can get like pretty boring, you know? And I have these cute mugs that I'm gonna use. And I just use my Keurig. I do have a, I don't know where it is, a uh, tea kettle. But I just feel like it takes too long. And I just use my Keurig because it's fast and easy, just like we like it. So. Ahead and make that. I almost closed the cabinet on you guys. What the hell? I usually just make an eight ounce, so real quick and easy. Does anybody else like know how to like prevent your Keurig from splashing? Because like I feel like whenever I make tea or anything, it or coffee, like it just splashes everywhere. It's crazy, but yeah. so good mm. yes bring me to life I'm like look how cute this cup is isn't it adorable like see-through and whatnot i love it yum so i usually let that steep for a little bit because you guys can see it turns like a pretty almost like purple color but while we wait for that to cool down let me show you the couch it looks a little messy right now but um this is my couch i love it so so much it is my like favorite thing ever um i picked it up from ashley furniture it um is a sectional so it has this little part where roger loves to lay and like look out the window and stuff but it's so perfect for the room uh, I decided to push it to the corner so that Roger could look outside. It could definitely like go in the center of this wall here, but 
I kind of like it here because like when you sit here you can see the TV perfectly oh I don't think I even showed you guys my little um, TV stand either so this is also new I also picked up these chairs my friend Bethany gave these to me um, and they match like perfectly with the couch so I want to get like a little table or something to go between them um, just for extra seating but we're still waiting I'm gonna get an area rug to go here and my coffee table um, which should be here probably within the next two weeks or so so I just got this cute little home sign um, from one of my friends as well as like these cute little candles and I also wanted to show you guys um, This little table that I got with Roger's stuff It is I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna hang this mirror on the wall um, I just have to find time to do that, but um, <clears throat> I Love this table. It's like the perfect size for this area i wanted something where i could just like you know drop like my keys or like my bag or something um check myself in the mirror before i go to work so once this is hung up it's gonna look amazing and i cannot wait but yeah i think that's really all of the updates currently um i have to throw out these brownies because i'm gonna eat them all but yeah that's really it for the updates i'm gonna finish getting dressed drink my tea and i'll see you guys in the car Alrighty, we are off to work um i just got an iced coffee i guess get it black and then i add my own creamer because hello it's cheaper and um i feel like iced coffee at home I don't know why it just never hits the same but like when I get it out and then add my own creamer it hits just as good as if I um, bought it with like cream and sugar so um, I just stopped at McDonald's I actually passed Starbucks Dunkin and McDonald's on my way to work which it's sometimes sometimes can definitely be detr detrimental to my health and fitness journey but what can you do so um yeah i'm on my way to work happy monday um we work monday through friday today today this week um this weekend i actually do work sunday which is super annoying but i um have plans on saturday to go out with my girls who i haven't seen in like so freaking long because the pandemic one of them had a baby like it has just been like so crazy and it's so funny um i feel like i've talked about them before um it's like two sisters just like my sister and i and my sister's older than me and so she, my sister's friends with the older sister and i'm friends with the younger sister and we're both the same age if that makes sense so the younger sister is my age i think she's a year older than me um, and then the older sister is my sister's age. So my sis my my sister and the other girl's older sister went to school together. So then the little sister and I became really good friends and um, we're both Scorpios, so it's the best, you know, mixture ever. So um, yeah, so I haven't seen them in so long. So we go and there's this food festival by my um, old apartment where I used to live in the city and like the whole neighborhood comes out like it's just so fun and everybody goes out afterwards at night I unfortunately do work Sunday um, which sucks but we're still gonna get lit we're still gonna get fun um, I'm bringing my friend Angelica which I don't know if she I feel like I did her makeup on this channel but I don't know if I'm gonna vlog or not we shall see you know me when I get a little litty, the vlogs kind of go to the waist side, so. And honestly, we're just gonna be like hanging out, like not doing anything crazy. Well, we might do some stuff crazy. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. Um, but, yeah, so. That's really it, that's all I have going on. Um, I, what else, just have been working. I'm getting stuff together to go back to school for nursing. Um, I have to film a life update for you guys. Um, maybe I'll film that Friday after work so that can go up after this. 
um, I'll probably do that. But, um, yeah, so that's really it. Like, I just really want to um, start vlogging again, get back into YouTube. I've been doing reels on my um, Instagram, which has been going really well. Um, my best friend, Nicole. Um, is actually like a social media manager, like digital gal, so she's been helping me out with that because um, it's funny, I actually babysit her son for her on the weekends when she goes to work, so like she kind of helps me with my Instagram and I just watch her child, so it's a really good time. <laughs> and um, yeah, so that's really all I have going on. I'm going to stop at my parents' house. I literally have to drive by my parents' house to get to work. So it's just really funny because I'm always there. Like, I feel like every night after work I stop in just to see what my mom made for dinner because if sis doesn't have to cook, sis is not cooking. Okay? So, um, yeah. That's really it. I hope that you guys enjoy this vlog. I've missed talking to you guys. I've missed hanging out. Um, I just got into like this funk where I was just like going through the motions. It was just very like mundane stuff. So I was like this, and then I always tell you guys like I feel like my vlogs are just like so repetitive and so boring that like I just sometimes don't even feel like vlogging because it's like what's the point? But yeah, so I'm trying to get out of that feeling. Um, because you know it's not healthy you know like a lot of you guys do enjoy my vlogs I enjoy vlogging so if I enjoy something I'm gonna do it no matter what you know but yeah this clip has been entirely too long I'm gonna listen to some music and head to work stop and see my mom and yeah that's really it I hope you guys are having a wonderful day when you're watching this, and I'll see you guys probably after work. Bye. Father is 30, Hello. 30, Good morning, kids. everyone. This is the hard part that I'm seeing. How is everyone doing today? Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, May 10th. Um, I stayed at my parents' house last night because, um, honestly, I wasn't feeling too hot. And, excuse me, I didn't feel like um, driving or cooking. And I also had to wash my hair. And it's just easier to do that here. So, that's what I did. Um, I'm going to be late for work probably because I have to go stop and get some coffee. Um... Sorry, sometimes my garage door like doesn't close correctly if I don't um, sit and do it. But um, yeah, so I'm on my way to go get some coffee right now. I have the short hair. Um, this is my actual hair um, with just a few like little extensions in it, um, which I actually really like. It's surprising because usually I don't like sh like short hair on myself but I think it looks cute today um, like I said I'm gonna go grab a coffee um, I'm not sure if I want a large or a medium um, but I'm just gonna go to McDonald's probably because it's just so cheap and just so easy and the Dunkin Donuts that I go to which is the drive through is like a lot farther from my parents house but it's funny that like I told you guys yesterday um, at my apartment I pass a Starbucks a Dunkin Donuts and a McDonald's on my way to work whereas where my parents live it's kind of more like s suburban like straight suburbia um, oh no okay cool um, so they live a little bit farther than I do from things so anyway um, like I said I'll show you guys a little close-up on my hair um, when I get to work um, or probably when I get out of work um, it is currently um, like 7:42, so I am on my way to work 9 to 5 again today very exciting 
I need this coffee so bad. Um, I had a Walmart delivery order last night, which was clutch. Um, because I've honestly just been eating salads for lunch because I am trying to, you know, real not like lose weight, but granted, like if it happens, I'm not gonna knock it. Um, but just reel in my eating habits because I've just been wild and out with my eating habits. Um, oh my god, sir. Um, it's just been like a little crazy. Um, People are driving horrendously right now. Um, I also have all my pimple patches. I don't know if you guys can even see because like they're so hidden. They're by the, um, I have two brands. One I like a little bit more. Um, this one is the Alba Botanicals, I believe is the brand. Um, pimple patches and like they just go over the pimples so like it kind of like camouflages it I know people wear makeup over theirs I don't know if I would be able to wear makeup over it because it's like a little bit raised if that makes sense so I don't know if I would be able to wear makeup over it but maybe um, and then I got this other brand from Walmart which I really really liked I feel like it drew like all of the impurities out of the pimple um it's by Rael. i'll try and put a picture up here for you guys um so that you can see which brand i'm talking about i know that they also have um whatchamacallit um what is it called like feminine products i was like i can't think of the word um feminine products so like um pads tampons things like that i saw them on amazon i don't think uh walmart sells those things but i did see these patches and i just wanted to pick them up because like i tried the Mat mighty patch which i also really like those are also really good um and um yeah so i really like these but i do like the rail ones more so not, i usually wear the rail ones when i'm like home because i feel like you can really see them because they really draw out like everything so these ones the alba botanical ones i wear like when i have to go to work or go out or whatever because like they're, i feel like they're not as noticeable and not as strong if that makes sense so yeah and honestly, um, I went to the dermatologist, I think like a week or so ago, and I got some creams prescribed because like just my chin acne was just like going wild, like living its best life. It was insane. Like, um, and I have gone to the dermatologist in the past. It's actually the dermatologist where I work, um, because, uh, there's no copay. So... I go to him and I've gone to him quite a few times already because especially like when we first started wearing the mask um, my skin had like a freak out it was like what is happening why am I being covered you know like it was it was crazy so my skin had a really big freak out when like March 2020 and like everybody was calling it mask knee or whatever it was crazy I was like I cannot do this um, even though we were wearing the mask and everything but my skin like already freaks out so i didn't need that extraness added on if you know what i mean so um really thankful that i got that taken care of um i actually might be like not late to work because the way i'm driving right now it's like fast and the furious out here so yeah um that's really it i can't wait to drink this coffee I'm so excited that I'm going to get a large because it's just, I didn't drink all of mine yesterday because, um, my stomach was upset yesterday. I don't know why, but this, it was just like not with it. Actually, probably going to get a medium. We'll see when we get there. Hello, friends. It is now Tuesday evening. I got home from work. I showered. Um. Uh, I actually made this a really good chicken dish um, at my parents' house. It was so freaking good. But now it is time for me to go back to my home. Um, I don't, it's so funny. Like, I never thought that I would get, like, used to sleeping in my bed, um, not at my parents' house. And now I'm like, I can't sleep in that bed for too long because starts to hurt my back and I miss my bed at my house so 
Um, I am on my way there now. It is 7.30, so I'm showered, everything. Um, I still have a ton of stuff in my parents' house. Um, Cause like granted, like I'm in a one bedroom apartment, like all of my stuff that I have would not fit in my, um, it's not tiny by any means, but I like keep whatever season's clothes it is in my closet currently, and then I just switch it out as needed. But um, yeah, so I'm on my way to my apartment now. I have Roger with me. Tonight is Mayans, and if you guys don't watch Mayans, look at him, he's so cute. Um, I would highly suggest it. I feel like I talk about it all the time, but it is just such a good forking show. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have going on right now. Um, I am, I need to clean like my house, like, like a heavy duty clean, you know? I actually have to stop and get gas right now because I'm down to 60 miles and that just does not sit right with my spirit at all. So um, I need to get some gas. Um, I think I need to shop, stop at ShopRite. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Um, I don't think I do. Sometimes I have to stop at shop, shop right for like little things, but I think we're Gucci. Um, but yeah, that chicken that I made, I will try and see if I can post the recipe down below. Um, I'll post a picture somewhere on the screen if I can, because I definitely took a picture to show my friend. Um, Shani. Um, it was so, so good. And like, I love like new ways to cook chicken because I feel like I get so sick of chicken. Because uh, I don't eat like a lot of beef um, or like red meat um, or like fish really. I really only eat salmon. So if you guys have like a fish recipe that you guys like to make, um, definitely let me know down below. I had a really good eating day today and I'm really just proud of myself. <laughs> later but still if you follow watch or watch Grey's Anatomy you know who Jesse Williams is um, he was also in Sister of the Traveling Pants I forgot what else he was in but those are the two things I know him from fine man fine, like the epitome of the guy that I go for pretty much if you ever wondered my type because I really don't show like my relationship on here um, granted I only talked to one guy that looked like him <laughs> But um, that's usually the type of guy that I go for. Like, he's so cute. I hope you guys can hear me. The windows are open, but what can you do? So, um, yeah, he is so fine. But there's like a video of him. He's on this Broadway show, and it is like full nude. Like, he's fully nude on the stage. I, whoo, girl. If I was in the audience, Honey, honey, you ain't gotta worry about me. You ain't gotta worry about me, okay? He is so fun. I love him so much, and I love his like demeanor. Like I just, mm, he is a fine man. But um, yeah, I, I literally saw that on Twitter, and I had to show like everyone that I knew because I was like, did you see this? If you haven't seen it, I would just go over to Twitter because I'm sure it's everywhere on the internet still because that was a hot topic for me. For me! Yes. And that's really it. I have to go into this overpass every time I go to my apartment, but I'm gonna go ahead and listen to some music and just chill out for the rest of the night. I am so excited to just like chill and relax. Maybe I'll do an eye mask. Mm, I like some under eye patches. It sounds so nice. And sit on my couch. You guys haven't seen me sit on my couch? Um, but I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, this is a long clip, I'm sorry. Which I'm not even sure you can hear me. Go figure. But um, I actually ordered a different couch from Bob's Furniture. So Bob, if you're watching, screw you Bob <laughs> I was so excited it was so cute granted looking back it was probably too small for the space I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you um, but 
Uh, I ordered it, everything, was so excited. They were literally outside in my lobby. And they're like, oh, we can't bring it upstairs, it's too big. I'm sorry, what? And then I was like, okay, so I was like, just break it down, bring it up, you know? And they were like, no, we can't, we're sorry, that's a liability. What? Like, I, it was so, I was so annoyed. My best friend Nicole was there with me. And when I tell you I was livid, like I was almost on the verge of tears, I was so mad. And like, that doesn't happen often, because I usually don't cry when I'm mad. Like, I just get mad. But I was on the verge of tears, because I was so upset, angry, annoyed the whole nine. And they, and they had the nerve to be like, oh, like, you need to choose a smaller couch. Girl, what? Bye. Bye, bye, bye. This, the couch that I got was literally made for small spaces. So I was like, you know what, just cancel my order, please. Like, get out of here. So, um, and that's exactly what they did. So I ended up going to Ashley Home Store, which I love. They were so nice. The guy that helped me was so cute. Um, a little gay Italian man. He was like, ugh, everything. And I just, I got my couch like in two weeks, two to three weeks, like nothing crazy, super easy. They came, my mom was there when they delivered it because my mom was like, I'm not letting it get delivered again without me because my mom was like, if I was there, when you ha when Bob's delivered it, like they would have delivered it. And I was like, I know, but like at that point, when they were like being like, not, they weren't rude about it, but they definitely weren't nice about it. Um, I was like, you know what? I don't even want this couch, you know, like I don't even want to give you my money. So, um, yeah, it was just so funny. So now I have a beautiful couch that I'm so happy with. I have to get my curtains. I have to get my coffee table. I have to get it all. Let me tell you guys, furnishing an apartment is so expensive. It's so expensive. So stressful. But um, I'm so happy with the way it's coming out. It looks so nice in there. I'm just so happy. Sorry.